I'm a massive fan of this. That's nice. You would never make a second of it. I, I get freezing at like 60. I don't know how I pay. My dad moves up to Philly now. And when he's like, you guys got to come visit us. Like, I'll visit you June through September. And that's about all you're going to Okay, so let's uh, allow our hearts to be filled with gratitude and for the chance to be together to celebrate this great gift of love and ask God to bless all of us for this whole evening. So Lord, we thank you and we praise you for our lives and for the love that's in our lives, for our family and friends, all the great chances to get back together together, together again. And we ask you to bless the food we're about to receive Bless all those who have prepared it and also all those who go without. Keep us always mindful of them and fill us with great joy and gratitude this evening. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, I, uh, I have written out my toast, but the good news is I don't have my glasses, so I can't read it. So you all be happy to know that because, um, well, it wasn't that long because I was in very strict guidelines on how long my speech could be. So I'll, I'll keep it short. Um, first, I want to start with thank all of you, everybody here. I mean, I, I'm so lucky, lucky, lucky to have all of you. Um, and I know people traveled far, far away, and people traveled from close by. But still, it, you took time out of your life to celebrate John David and Monica. And uh, that's so special to all of us, and, and I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Um, also, I want to start with my, well, wait, no, first I'll start with a thank you to Sarah. <laughs> who, who has spent a lot of time planning all of this, because if any of you know me, I didn't plan any of it. So, um, uh, and then Frank as well, who has worked with Sarah to plan all of this. <laughs> and then also the Maloney's, uh, thank you in advance for what I know will be a fabulous day tomorrow. It's already, everything about you is fabulous, including your daughter. Um, you guys are so great. Uh, I know it, it's been a short time or a short couple, couple of years of getting to know you, yet I feel like I've known you my whole life. Um, you're such great human beings, um, and, and you raised such a wonderful daughter. Uh, I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you all as well. Monica, uh, again, I, I spent a lot of time writing up this speech and, and thinking about the words to say, but there, it would be too long to talk about what a wonderful, wonderful person you are. There's, there's no doubt on why John David chose you. Um, you're, you have such a great heart, and you're so good to all of us, and we're a motley crew. We are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why did you look at me? <laughs> uh, and, and we're so happy to have you uh, in our life. Um, I know that, um, you know, I think in the beginning in the engagement party, we said John David outkicked his coverage. And I know that, that uh, at times... You don't like that because you think so much of John David, and I understand that, but, but you're so, so great. I can't think of how many, uh, I'd be up here for hours talking about 
how lucky we are to have you in our lives. Um, so I also know that you know this, that you're lucky to have such a fabulous, fabulous man in your life. Um, he, I, I, as you know, I'm a lawyer. So they, they always say, speak in threes. Don't, don't, don't say more than three because people can't remember more than three. So I, I picked three of John David's uh, favorite character traits of mine. Um, first, he's got the biggest heart of any buddy I know. He is the most caring, loving soul I know. When he was 10 years old, uh, Katrina had hit. Um, and uh, as we know, it had done disasters to everyone. It was his 10-year-old birthday, and he asked me, he said, uh, I don't want any presents. Can we just have, a, instead of birthday gifts, can they donate money to the victims of Katrina? And I, he, this was not parent-induced. This was John David's idea. Um, and it just goes to show he loves not only you, but he loves every human being on the face of the earth. And that's what's so beautiful about him. The more difficult... <laughs> His second quality is he's logical. Uh, and he has, he has been logical since the day he was born. And it made it very difficult because I know you're supposed to say just no because I said no, but that never worked for John David. He was never just no because I said no. Um, he is, out of the two sons, the only one who ever believed in, Luke, I mean, Boone, close your ears, S-A-N-T-A. He never believed in that, um, or the tooth fairy, or the Easter bunny, none of it. He never believed in any of it. Um, he was always so logical about everything. But if you explained it to him, he got it. I, I will, I also, when I tr told him about the birds and the bees, his first question was, so you and dad? And I was not anticipating that question. I said, yes, twice. <laughs> so good luck with that quality, because you because life is not always logical, but he has to have everything very logical. He is also the most rule-abiding, hardworking individual I ever have known. I've never seen a report card. I never, um, I mean, he did everything on his own, still does do everything on his own. Um, and I know that those in college are saying, rule biting, I don't know so much. But, but part of the rules of college are having fun. So he abided by that rule. I, uh, I, I struggled with all of this in my toast. Um, and so I, I think um, a lot of people here know, and tomorrow you'll see, uh, John David, I hope to dance with him to Forever Young. It's been my dedication to both my boys my whole life, uh, the words to that song. And so when I was trying to figure out what am I gonna say in the toast, I thought, I, you know, I'm a lawyer, but I really use other people's words as opposed to mine. And so my final toast is uh, from Rod Stewart and, and Forever Young. And it says, this is the first verse, lots of good verses. May the good Lord be with you. down every road you run, and may, I'm not really sure I can.
my dedication to you is this is now your song, Monica, as well from me. You will always be forever young. God bless you. That's hard to follow. Uh, I echo everything Beth said, and uh, we thank you. I thank you for everybody coming. I'm very excited for tomorrow. Uh, thank you to Colin and Kathleen for their hospitality and the wonderful evening I know we have planned uh, for all of us tomorrow. I'm very proud of JD, uh, and I can go on and on um, <laughs> about how proud I am and everything that he's accomplished. And he, he does it with a focused determination for all of his goals. Um, but one of the great benefits of a relationship is how the strengths of a partner enhances oneself. <clears throat> Monica is a caring, kind, intelligent, thoughtful individual, and I can see that those characteristics have been raised in John David. He's <clears throat> become much more with much more empathetic and much more thoughtful of everyone around him. And I think that's the beauty of a really solid, great relationship and making your partner become stronger. Um, together. Together these two people are going to achieve great things and they're going to be valuable contributors to our community and our society because of their empathy and, and their thoughtfulness. I'm very proud to have Monica as a daughter-in-law and I just can't wait to see what you guys are going to do next. Raise a glass. <laughs> Hey, y'all. As most of you know, I'm Marley, Monica's little sister. Most of y'all know me from either being relatives, and some of y'all know me from the TCU dance floor in 2013. <laughs> or at least I met one of y'all at one of the many wedding showers that were held in, in honor of Monica and JD. And I'm sure that Monica told the rest of you guys all about me, if you do not already know. And now that I've properly, inter properly introduced myself, it's time for the fun part. As you all know, and if I know it's kind of hard to tell, but Monica and I did not attend high school together. Though many teachers sure had a lot to say when they called my name off the roll sheet on the first day of school. They did seem very relieved when they learned that I was Monica's little sister and not one of the others, meaning, meaning Logan. <laughs> who they always had stories about. The only difference was, nothing negative has ever been said about Monica. And to this day, I've yet to hear someone speak badly of her. Monica has been nothing but a perfect role model for me and influence for me growing up. And when I say perfect, I mean she did an, an awful job of preparing my parents for me. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. We did grow up in the same household, with the same parents, but we are still very, very different. Monica would be peacefully playing with her Barbie dolls as a child, as I was climbing the cabinets to sit on top of the refrigerator to see if I could survive if I jumped. <laughs> Monica has been a road follower from day one. Well, before I was even one years old, I was escaping my crib, causing trouble. Monica was an amazing A-plus student who has always been on top of her work where I have always and will continue to always procrastinate on my work till the very last minute, just as a speech as I was working on it this morning. <laughs> Even though Monica has always had her life together, usually, she's never failed to be the life of the party, whether that means dancing on the countertops or just simply singing songs in the car, even if she doesn't know the words. 
Monica always knows how to light up the room in every situation, for the most part. John David. Hey, JD. <laughs> the first day I met you, I walked to my parents' bedroom that night and said, I really want him to become my new brother. And I must have predicted the future because here we are six years later, celebrating the marriage of the most two beautiful people in the entire world. The very next day, you and Monica picked me up from school in fifth grade, and you went to the drive through safari in your brand new truck, which unfortunately was not very new afterwards at all. I picked up a few scratches and a few dents, but all JD cared about was that I was enjoying my time playing with the Longhorns. You, you never failed to make me feel included and cared for, whether that be playing yard games with me outside, making science experiments and slime with me at the kitchen table, not caring how dirty your clothes got, or chasing Winnie around the kitchen or the backyard of the lake house. Thank you for always keeping a smile on my sister's face and for keeping her in line, which is now your main duty. You are such a caring and selfless person and are truly a joy to be around. The bear stuffed animal you sent me while I was in the hospital will, will forever have a place on my bed and you fit in with our family so well. And we're so excited to welcome you and your amazing and beautiful family into ours. Thank you for making it so easy to love you and welcome to our crazy family. I'm not done. I'm still going, everybody. Both of you hold such a huge place in my heart and will forever be my biggest role models in life. However, Monica Colleen, you will always be my number one. You've shown me what the meaning of family is and that you've never made, failed to make me feel loved and cared for. You are the only person I know who would sit by my side in a hospital room all day, every day for three weeks straight. You're so beautiful from the inside and out and I'm so lucky and proud to call you my sister. I love celebrating you and it's such an honor. JD, I like celebrating you too. <laughs> Monica and JD, cheers to you both. I wish you both nothing but the best and happy marriage, and I've loved watching you two fall in love and grow together these past six years. I'm so blessed to know you, and on that note, Monica and JD, I hope all your kids turn out like me. <laughs> Cheers to you both. JD. I don't like talking into the thing like that. Um, my name's Robert Schuler, for those who don't know me. I'm one of JD's friends from high school. Um, I am proud to say that I'm the one that introduced Monica to JD. Round of applause, thank you. Um, thank you. I, I wish that I could say I had some elaborate scheme planned out, but uh, I really didn't. Um, JD had come up to TCU junior year for an 80s party, and you know, while I had no intentions of introducing him to his future wife, I thought for sure that the um, lame costume I had him dressed in was surely gonna avoid that anyways. <laughs> but um, we, get to the bar and Monica comes up to us and that was really where I just, I introduced him, that was everything I had to do. Um, they really saw what they saw in each other and they hit it off immediately. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was the tight leggings that JD was wearing that <laughs> did Monica in, but um, you know, they didn't leave each other's side the entire night. And you know, the next morning I'm waking up JD trying to figure out you know, what we're going to do for dinner before he heads back to College Station. And, uh, you know, lo and behold, he's telling me, oh, I know I already got a breakfast date planned with uh, Monica at Yogi's. I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. Um, you know, and after that weekend, JD started coming up to TCU a whole lot more. <laughs> and unfortunately for me, it was 
not to see me. Um, but you know, flash forward, I guess, what is it, five to six years from now, and you know, we're celebrating y'all two tonight, and it's crazy to think how the time has flown by. Um, JD, you're one of my best friends, and I'm so happy for you. I mean, y'all two are perfectly good for each other. So um, cheers to y'all. Cheers to tomorrow. It's going to be a hell of a time. Thanks. All right, first off, thank you so much to the Janusex for such a beautiful night. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Amelia. Monica and I were freshman orientation roommates and became instant friends. She was standing beside me in line for orientation and we were automatically paired for the weekend. On top of that, we lived across the hall from each other freshman year, pledged the same sorority, and even had the same major. So I honestly should have paid rent in her dorm room. I was in there so often. Then we lived together junior and senior year and also went to the same grad school. Because we had the same major, Monica and I had the majority of our classes together in college. One class, we would walk together e with each other each Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. So Monica is a morning person, and I am not. <laughs> our walks together would be Monica talking, and then I would just be standing there walking, drinking my coffee, um, kind of look at her every once in a while. But um, <laughs> as some people know, Monica and JD's first date was to Yogi's, a popular bagel place in Fort Worth. And when I found out they'd been to, bre to a breakfast date together, right off the bat, I was like, oh, they're going to be a great pair. Two morning people. <laughs> but in all seriousness, seeing Monica and JD is truly the happiest that Monica's ever been. And I'm so glad that they found each other. So everyone raise a glass to Monica and JD. Thank you. Amelia's taller than me. Hi, everyone. I'm Trisha. Monica's childhood friend and neighbor from two houses behind, formerly known by Marley as the girl that lived in the backyard. <laughs> I have known Monica for nearly 20 years, and in that time, our lives have been so uniquely intertwined that we have shared almost every major milestone with each other. And standing by your side tomorrow when you marry the love of your life is gonna be one of my favorites. Monica and I met in elementary school where her aunt Bridget, who's somewhere here, <laughs> was my fifth grade teacher. And every week, every week we walked across campus in our plaid skirts to mass in the same cathedral where she'll walk down the aisle tomorrow. We became fast friends and spent many summer days at her former neighborhood pool. But it came time for us to move on from St. Gregory Musicals to Bishop Gorman Middle School. An abundance of embarrassing photos exist from this era of us getting ready for middle school dances at my house from track meets, volleyball games, where one of us played on the A team and one of us on the B team. You can guess. <laughs> A seventh grade class field trip to none other than the great city of San Antonio and much more. But somehow in these middle school photos, Monica looks the exact same. But I hope the same can't be said about me. Like many of us, some of my fondest memories with the Maloney's are time spent at their lake house. And Mr. Maloney, I probably have permanent damage from the amount of times you gave me whiplash on the tube. But high school flew by, Finally, Monica and I picking each other up from each other's houses instead of walking through the backyard, decorating hallways for homecoming, turning in AP art projects weeks late, asking boys to the Sadie Hawkins dance. Monica always had a thing for the bad boys, but I think her taste changed.
We continued to spend so much time together that the lunch lady at our high school often got us confused. And I know for a fact that I took advantage on many occasions and charged my grilled cheese to the Maloney tab. <laughs> After high school graduation, Monica and I both attended TCU in Fort Worth together, where we both pledged Kappa and met our wonderful friends here today. Knowing Monica this well, I could immediately tell how much she liked JD. So much so that I was worried, up until the day of, that she was going to skip out on our flight to Florence, Italy for our semester abroad together. But instead, we traveled throughout Europe together, and I listened to their relationship grow through nightly phone calls from across the world, sometimes while I was only two feet away in my twin bed. And Monica, throughout this time, it has been my pleasure to share life's many milestones and joys with you, and I cannot wait to do so tomorrow. But going forward, I have to pass off my torch as best friend and life partner to JD. You two make a fantastic match, and I have never seen you happier or more confident in your future. And I know you all will have a wonderful life together. I can't wait to see what's to come. I love you. Uh, good evening. I didn't have law-abiding on my JD bingo card for this evening, but I was really, really happy to hear that. Uh, first off, I want to thank the Maloney's and the Janisex for an amazing weekend. Really excited to be here. It's going to be a lot of fun celebrating them tonight, tomorrow, and throughout the weekend. Um, my name is Brian Strode, and I survived living with JD in college. But <laughs> more so, JD probably survived living with me, Tub, and Hogan over there. Um, there's a lot of stories I wish I could tell, and if you want to hear them, you can come back to the college tables back there afterwards. Um, living with JD was always entertaining, to say the least. Something you may or may not know about JD is his dedication to cleanliness. Uh, or maybe he's just normal props to Miss Janicek. We were probably just really, really bad. Uh, JD was our house mom, for lack of a better term. We actually deemed him king of the trash because how much he loved cleaning the house and taking out the trash more than anyone I've ever met. It's pretty strange. Uh, Monica, you're very lucky as I wish JD was still my roommate for the cleanliness alone. Uh, I would like to think he installed better habits in us as a roommate, uh, but I stand corrected. I remember thinking I was being a great roommate. I saw a few bags of trash in the corner. I was like, I'll go throw these away for JD. Little to learn that he'd spent the last few hours picking up all the discarded beer cans in the front of the backyard for recycling, and they just got hauled off by regular trash, and he was not very pleased. Um, I was living with JD when he met Monica and when they started dating, uh, so it was a very special to see their days and their relationship grow. I can definitely see how much y'all's personalities, interests, and life goals complement each other. In all honesty, though, living with and being friends with JD has provided me with some of the best memories I'll ever have, and I'm happy to be up here tonight to celebrate you and Monica. Monica, you're one of the kindest, sweetest, and most generous people I've ever met. I can't imagine a better partner for JD. JD is very lucky to have you in his life, and I can't wait to celebrate the rest of y'all for the rest of y'all's lives. Cheers to the Janusex. Everybody. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm Luke for y'all that haven't met me. I'm JD's little brother and best man. Um, so just reiterate, thank all of y'all for coming. Um, 
I wanted to start out by just saying thank you to my mom and my dad and the Maloney's for having everyone here for such a great night and going for tomorrow and just reiterate all we've been saying. It turned out great so far and I know tomorrow will be even better and I can't wait. Um, and I know I'm towards the end so I'll try to go a little bit faster, get everyone back to drinking and celebrating the night. Um, but I'm just so happy to be here with JD and Monica and meet all of y'all. Um, JD has always been there for me my entire life, so I'm just happy to be here with him. Um, it's, I've, ooh, sorry. JD has always been there for me over the years, whether it's me my entire life, whether it's helping me get out of trouble, whether it's telling me where to move, where to live. I'm their neighbor now because I can't seem to stop following him. I've moved in right next door, um, and my lease runs out pretty soon, so let me know where we're going next because I need to get ahead on that. Uh, but he's always been there to give me the guidance I need. Um, um, he's always been just such a supportive brother, helping me with the tough things in my life, like where I should go to college, what I should study, what jobs I should take, and just helping me guide, the lane, guide me along my life. And then even helping with the easier things, like getting a haircut. Uh, for years, I couldn't figure out how to ask for a haircut, and so Jitty would write me a script so I could go in and read to the barber, and I still have it saved on my great clips when I go in, and I say, give me the JD. So if y'all ever, ever like this, just thank him for me, because it's just special. They know it now. Y'all can, you can ask for it. Text me that. <laughs> it's great. High and tight. Uh, but... In all serious, Monica, I'm so happy for you to be joining our family. It's always nice having you around, putting JD in such a better mood and just more joyful to be around. You're such a blessing to have on our family trips and all of our holidays and bring a nice little light spirit to all of it. Um, I look forward to all the trips we have left and all the lake trips we have to go forward. They've been a blast. You make them so much better. And like my dad said, you two complement each other so well and only bring out the best in each other. I'm so happy for the both of y'all and thankful to JD for bringing you into our lives and for putting up with our family. Uh, JD, you're such a great brother and a great friend and I know you'll make a great husband and I'm honored to be your best man tonight. And I couldn't imagine a better match for the two of y'all. You're just such wonderful influences on each other and bring out the best. Um, and I wish y'all all the happiness in the world. Cheers, and thank you, everyone, for coming. Hello, Tyler, Texas. Hey, I don't really have a lot to say here. I'm Craig, I'm Beth's brother, uh, uh, John David's uncle. Uh, I, I just want, frankly, Frank and Beth, I just wanted to say thank you guys very much. Absolutely terrific, but I also want to add, you guys have been terrific parents. I mean, these two guys are terrific. I don't think my father has had a better friend in San Antonio in the last 20 years. I mean. JD's been the best, takes him fishing, and, and they had the best time. Hopefully they're going to join us tomorrow, but uh, I'm so happy for you guys and, and wish you the best. Thank you, Beth and Frank. This has been terrific. Hello, everyone. My name is Colin Maloney. very proud father of Monica. So uh, thanks for Beth and to Frank for hosting this awesome night. I mean, we couldn't be more beautiful setting, beautiful food, lots of booze, <laughs> lots of happiness. This is a, we're all just thrilled. So thank you very much. So I, and I was talking to my mom yesterday yeah. and I stopped by her house and she was sitting there at, we're at the kitchen table, and she goes, this is so exciting. We're here at the beginning of a new family. And I was like, that is like the best sentiment 
ever. Because I mean, that's truly what this is, is the beginning of a new, although we've got four awesome families here tonight, Sutherland's and Janicex and Maloney's and McKay's. This is a special part of the Janicek family. It's just so awesome that this is a new family. Thanks to Grandma Liz declaring that, so that's good. So it's said when you get married, you marry the family. So JD, on behalf of Kathleen and I, I apologize in advance that you are now in the Maloney clan. Yes, yeah. Secondly, over the, over the last couple of years, we've gotten to know uh, so much of the Sutherland family, your, your, your parents, your gr grandparents, your aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews, and we have totally fallen in love with all of them. And we look forward to meeting more of them through this weekend and more in the future. You know, like Kathleen said, she would tonight take home Boone and Ellie and Shelby <laughs> to live with us for permanently. Yes, like, yes, she's, she's in full on love. So anyway, so that's, so, uh, that's in, in terms of your family, we are so thankful for them. So my first, interact, my first interaction with JD on an extended basis was a, my niece, Caitlin, who's her wedding, and there she is, back in the back, beautiful as ever. So JD comes to that wedding, we share a big home together, and we have this massive after-wedding party, and JD just slid right in to all of the dozens of Maloney cousins uh, who are this generation. And they had a blast together. It, it didn't hurt that he was an Aggie, I have to tell you. But JD just slid right in, and we knew that he was uh, perfectly at home in our family. So I want to I want to acknowledge the fact that we have seven of y'all's eight grandparents here tonight, which is pretty miraculous. So that's that's awesome from the get go. All. Also, almost all of your aunts and uncles are here, and almost all of your cousins, except for a few that are missing for graduations or, you know, excused absences. <laughs> Everybody is here. This is pretty amazing. Uh, special shout out to my cousin, Christopher. To what we call, we call Toph. He's my lifelong friend, and he's, he's also uh, my confidant, and, and uh, he's also the one who's agreed to marry you guys tomorrow. And uh, he, I, I want to thank him for being such a good example for all of his nephews and nieces and for him maintaining an awesome relationship with all of y'all. So thank you, Tove. I also want to shout out to all of Monica's friends. And, uh, and JD's friends who are all here, it's just crazy that y'all are all made it. It was so funny that I look back, we were looking back, Kathleen and I were looking back at some photos of when Monica met you all. She was 18. Marley was eight. <laughs> and we exposed Marley to way more than she should have ever been exposed to as an eight-year-old. I mean, she was this tall. And y'all all treated her like a little sister, and y'all were all so generous and kind to her. And it was so much fun to watch you all grow up as wonderful young women and doing all the crazy, awesome things that y'all are doing. So we want to acknowledge all of y'all. And now that JD has joined our family, we've gotten to know JD's friends. It was so weird to all of a sudden have all these men in our lives, like all these, all these guys who we, we're used to having all these girls, but now we have all these guys. So it's so much fun to get to know all your young people and all the beautiful things you're doing. So it's, that's very exciting. So thank you all for all the, everything you've done with uh, Monica and JD. Kathleen would say, JD makes our family so much better. And that is true. Like, when we're all around, we don't fight. 
we don't argue. Like, we're all on our best manners. Like, JD, like, totally keeps us in check. And, like, everybody's happy and, like, it's totally great. So that is totally true. Like, JD does make our family better. I hope that that continues. So, you know, Monica, don't screw it up. So, <laughs> so Monica, you have been a total joy. to be a parent of. You taught us how to be a parent. Like, who knew? Kathy and I had no idea what the hell we were doing. And as Marley would attest, that is totally true. We have no idea what the hell we're doing. But you were a gift from God for us. We got pregnant right after we got married. And then we tried for 10 more years. So Monica, you were truly a gift from God. Our second gift from God is Marley. But apparently you were truly a gift from God, so I love you for that. I'm sorry I'm, break sorry I'm breaking up here. So, so Monica, you're going to make a beautiful, fine wife, an awesome mother, just like you have been a great daughter cousin, niece, granddaughter, uh, sister, friend, everything else in your life. So uh, I'm so thrilled for you that you have found JD the obvious match and love of your life. Y'all make such a great couple together and we're so thrilled for you. So with that, uh, I would say that, you know, Anybody here who's been married, marriage is hard work. You have to work at it. And the only thing I'd say is to be charitable in everything that you do. Be charitable to everybody, but especially to each other. Because with that, everything else just seems to work out. So with that, please raise your glasses. JD and Monica, here's to a marriage of love respect and laughter. Keep each other at the center of your lives and keep God there with you and everything else will just work out. So here's to y'all. God bless y'all. Yep. I'm going to do the Robert Schuller effect here. I'm not one to stand still while I speak, but um, for those of you that I haven't had the uh, pleasure to meet here tonight, I am John David's older cousin uh, by about eight years. Sarah, my sister Sarah. She helped plan this thing, if y'all didn't know. Round of applause. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> Um, so I, I wasn't really expecting to make a speech here tonight, but I, I do want to say a couple things about John David because, um, this, this <laughs> kid for my entire life has been one of the more impressive individuals that I've ever in, in, encountered. 100%. Um, from the, from the day he was, he was born, he was a, a very just Im impressive person from his academic accomplishments. I think he decided he was going to be a lawyer when he was like three years old, which is weird. Um, but he, he did it. His athletic accomplishments, this kid was a starting right guard at his size. Pretty wild. We should all give a round of applause there for that one. <laughs> uh, to, to the woman he is now going to be marrying. Uh, it's impressive. What, what you've accomplished. Um, I, I had the, uh, the, the pleasure to, I don't know if, what you want to call it, babysit, be his mentor. For his, for, uh, for a couple summers of his life, and I got to experience both him and his brother growing up together, and um, everything that Luke said about 
how great of a, of a human being that John David is, is, is honestly selling it a little short. Um, you're, you're an incredible, incredible man, and you're marrying an incredible, incredible woman. And I couldn't be more happy for you, man. Everything that Mr. Maloney mentioned about marriage and how tough it can be, just, just remember that you guys are in, the thing, in this shit together. <laughs> And never, never argue or never fight to win a battle. Argue to compromise. And remember that you guys are a team. And from what I've seen, you guys are a great team. And I love you. Monica, I love you. I can't wait to see you guys blossom together. Congratulations. Yeah. Cheers to you guys. I don't know if I'm supposed to like end this thing, but let's end this. Cheers, let's go! No, I only had one request, was to know if I was speaking beforehand, and no one told me. So, um, <laughs> I'm really just here to close this out, but um, thank you everyone for coming. I'm so excited. Everything could not be going better for me. Um, I'm <laughs> I tricked family members into saying nice things about me. I tricked Monica into marrying me. Uh, <laughs> everything's coming up good for me. So... So before I run my luck too hard, I'll go ahead and close this out. Um, I'm so happy y'all are all here. I'm so happy for today, tomorrow, the rest of all of our lives together. Um, thanks, everyone. I love everyone that's here, every single person. Um, you were hand-selected to be here because we love you. So um, thanks for making your way out to Tyler, and we look forward to sealing the deal tomorrow. Love y'all. Cheers. <laughs>
Thank you.